What's up beautiful people on the other side. In today's video, I'm going to show you how you can revoke any access from your wallet. So recently what I've been seeing is a lot of people that are new or are even at an intermediate level when they're coming into the market, they're joining a lot of links through their MetaMask account and because of FOMO or because of some other reason, not sure, but people would love to connect their wallet. but. This is the main thing that is happening recently with free mints that people are getting scammed. Not just with free mints but any kind of website that you connect your wallet without knowing what it is about or without knowing what the purpose of that particular website is. We connect our wallet to either mint that particular project or claim a airdrop. There are a lot of things that we connect our wallet to and we lose a lot of NFTs. Recently I have lost my buddy buddies because of it and I felt I should definitely create a video about it in which I can tell you if you have if your wallet has been compromised how you can get it back it is best first to create a new wallet if your wallet is compromised however if you're still holding nfts in that particular wallet it is really hard to transfer all of them at once and till the time you'll transfer all of them all your nfts will be gone all your eth will be gone hence this is the most simplest way that you can revoke any kind of uh, access that your wallet has for any other website and no one will be able to scam you anymore but before we start the video all i would say is if you're interested in content like nfts make sure you do subscribe the channel hit the notification bell and like the video So I'm doing a giveaway on my Twitter account. If you've not followed me up there yet, quickly go follow me up there. This is going to be an amazing project called Zero X Office. I'm also doing a giveaway for this free mint on my Twitter account. Again, two giveaways are going on at this point of time. And if you've not followed me up there, if you've not participated in these giveaways, trust me, you're missing out a lot. Now let's look how you can revoke the access so there are two ways you can revoke the access the first way i'm going to teach you is through ether scan i believe this is the most easiest way also the second one is also very easy but you should know both the ways how you can do it I, if you are into nfts i would say learn how to use ether scan try to understand the things that are going on in ether scan it will really help you out in future but if you go to this link etherscan.io make sure you're going to the io one only there are a lot of scam website out there if you do connect your wallet to some scam website it will really give you a lot of loss as you might lose your ETH or NFTs. I'll be leaving the link in the description below. So be very cautious before connecting your wallet to anything. Uh, so what we'll do is we'll go to etherscan.io slash token approval checker. We'll click on connect to Web3 MetaMask because I've already connected in the past. That's why it's not asking me for an approval. But uh, if you'll be doing it for the first time, it will be asking you for approval. So once you connect your wallet, you'll be able to see there are ERC20, 721 and ERC1155. What are these? ERC20 are basically tokens. Any token on Ethereum, it's on ERC20. Uh, ERC721 is basically your NFTs. So ERC20 does not allow to create unique tokens on it or unique uh, NFTs on it because this can only have one kind of uh, token on it. No, uh, it can be repeated as much time as you want, but it cannot be a uh, different kind of tokens. However, when ESA 721 was launched, it can have unique type of tokens a lot of times as many as we want. And that's why NFTs are on 721 and ERC 1155 is basically a combination of both, which can have a token and NFTs both on it. It gives us the uh, option to build as many unique tokens we want and as many different kind of uh, tokens we want. That's why there are three showing up here. So ERC 20 will show you all the tokens that you've given access to. So I've given access to Zen token and wrapped ether. Zen token is a project that I am in and I know uh, these people are not fake. These people are valid people since I've given them the access. ERC 721 will show you all the NFTs that you hold in your particular wallet. And this will show you the NFT that, that you're holding. And ERC 1155 is basically the combination. If you're holding a NFT and uh, if you're holding a token, it will show you basically that. So if you go to ERC 721 because you want to revoke the access of any of the NFTs that we have given to like if you've connected to a free mint website let's say you've given the access to that particular wallet to take anything from your account that's how they uh, scam you out so if I come up to ERC 721 and I click on this link here that says revoke if in case the screen is not coming up for you make sure to check up here but whether this is clicked on or not sometimes it is clicked off and you don't see anything up here so if my token ID is clicked on you'll be able to see all these 
will be clicking on revoke icon if you want to revoke any access so once you do click on revoke icon it will be coming up like this and you can click on revoke once you do that it will be popping up a metamask a transaction for you which would be a very minimal amount as you can see it's just 0.89 cents for me right now i'm not going to revoke it for the moment because i know this project about i know i am a part of this particular project and that's a reason i'm okay with not revoking it however if you see a, a, a project coming up here that you not know anything about or you feel that this is the one that your wallet got compromised with quickly go click on the revoke icon and you'll be able to revoke that access right there and then and that is the best way to do it the second way to do it would be to go to a website called revoke.cash make sure you're going to revoke.cash only i'll be leaving the link in the description below so you can definitely refer it from there but make sure you're going on the correct websites because it is very easy to get scammed in nfts what we'll need to do is we'll need to connect our wallet here once we do connect our wallet here uh, i've already done it in the past that's why it's not giving uh, me an approval to do it but we need to click on include unverified tokens and include zero balances and this will show us all the tokens that we have given access to so our access is to luna we and zen uh, tokens so we and zen tokens i know all about uh, luna is someone that i don't know however this says no allowances if it says no allowances we are good with it that means it does not have any access to our particular account if it does not say no allowances if it says unlimited allowance we need to revoke that however with this case i know we and zen that's why i'm not revoking them but if i want to all i need to do is click on revoke and this will show me up a transaction alert again and if i confirm it it will be revoked the reason i'm not doing it is because if in case in future i want to bet on any nft on OpenSea, i need we for it or even if i sell any nft on looks rare i need we for it and it will again have the access so it does not make sense to me uh, to revoke this right now and pay money on it and then again get the access or again give the access to this particular we uh, token the next would be if you click on this icon here this will take you to all the nfts that have access to your account so these are all the nfts that have access to my account if you see an nft that you have not invested in but it has access to your particular account make sure you do revoke it because it can really take out all your nfts or all your money so this, these are the two ways the best two ways and the most easiest two ways that you can revoke any access from your particular metamask account if your account is compromised if one nft is stolen but you have a lot of nfts in there which are still saved you cannot transfer all the nfts at once because bulk transfer is not an option there right so you need to cancel the access to those particular addresses that have access to your account once you do that your wallet will be safe and then you can transfer all of them to a new wallet so that uh, you are 100 percent sure that no nfts will be stolen what happened with me was when mine bunny buddies was stolen i revoked all the access i have not transferred my nfts although i should have but i did not yet uh, however my account is safe there is no more scam on it so that's why i'm pretty much okay with it but most probably in future i'll be transferring all my nfts into a new metamask account and that is the reason i tell everyone uh, if you are going to mint a project make sure you have two kinds of wallet one is your burner wallet and one is your uh, main wallet where you where you're keeping all your nfts so with the burner wallet you'll be minting all the nfts that you want and a very minimal amount of money will be kept in there so that if in case you do get scammed you're not losing all your net worth in nfts however in the main wallet all your nfts will be there which is safe because you're not connecting it anywhere else with any other website these will be the two ways i would say definitely go check whether your uh, metamask address has any access to other account or not i hope you did enjoy this video if you did make sure you do like the video subscribe the channel hit the notification bell and also follow me on my twitter account to enjoy winning a lot more giveaways in future i'll see you in my next one thank you